Hello class. Uh, today we're going to continue for our syllabus. Um, escape velocity. Okay, textbook on page one zero seven. Okay, so what is mean by escape velocity? So what is mean by escape? Uh? Escape means escape from something. Means uh, come out from something or uh, come out from a place. Eh? Uh, in this case. Uh, we say escape velocity means that the minimum velocity needed by an object on the surface of Earth to overcome the gravitational force and escape to outer space. Okay, let's say we throw something from the surface of the Earth. We throw some things very hard, and then is it will it will go and never come back? No, eh? Of course, it will go up. We throw upwards, and then of course it will come down. So scientists think, uh, is it possible that uh, when we throw something very, very, uh, with, with the addition of fuel or rocket, and then we throw very, very hard, and then with a very high speed, uh, I want the things that will never come back to the Earth, or maybe it will start to orbit the Earth. Uh. So today we're going to talk about escape velocity. So if, we, if people ask you to uh, define escape velocity, eh, it's the minimum, the minimum velocity that for an object to throw a vertical and then the object will never come back to the Earth. Eh. That means uh, escape velocity. So uh, based on theory, eh, actually we can know what is the escape velocity, what is the minimum velocity that uh, we have to achieve. So that the object will never come, never fall back to the earth. Okay. So one of the things that uh, uh, you have to memorize. Uh, sorry, you have to memorize. Um, for gravitational potential energy, uh, in this case, uh, you have to memorize this formula. For meanwhile, because um, I guess you naturally learn integrations in MS. Uh, so actually, how do we get this formula? How do we get this uh, negative gmm over r square? Uh, sorry for that, because if I want to discuss, I have to teach you all the about the integrations uh, in MX. So never mind. We just write down something that so that next time when you after you learn integration, then I'm sure that you're going to understand about this. So first, um, the gravitational uh, force, uh, gravitational force is the formula. We have the formula we learned is uh, G M M over R square, right? So if you want to get the formula to for gravitational potential energy, okay, energy for if you want to change force, eh, you want to change to energy, we have to actually multiply by the distance travel. Or displacement travel um, perpendicular to it. So if you want to get the energy, yeah, actually we have to do is we have to integrate uh, integration. Uh, you will learn in MX. Don't worry, you will learn in MX uh, for four for five. So because the thing is on the surface of the Earth and then through until the infinity distance, yeah, so we have to integrate from R to infinity. G M M over R square. Yeah. Okay, so this is the formula where we can get the the formula for gravitational potential energy. And if you want to know why it become negative and why the R become only power of one, not power of uh, two. Uh, yes, after you learn integrations, then you're going to prove it by yourself. I hope. Uh, that time you already know how to prove this formula. So meanwhile, you have to memorize it. Okay, the potential gravitational potential energy is negative g m m over r. Okay, not r square. The r square is for force. And remember, if you want to get energy, if you want to get work done or energy is actually f times displacement. And displacement in this case is the distance travel. So Okay, because this one is energy, yeah? so based on the principle with the conservation of energy, so that's why, okay, at the bottom of this page, yeah, uh, 
question, uh, uh, sorry, the, the, the notes uh, um, guide us how to prove that the escape velocity for the Earth. So we're going to make it equals, uh, if you have gravitational potential energy that travel from the surface of the Earth until the infinity. Uh, so and since the formula is negative, then we can write as kinetic energy plus gravitational potential energy is equal to zero. Maybe you will ask why equal to zero? Eh? Uh, because the total energy in the system uh, never come out from the system or never add in. Eh? We cannot create energy, but we can change energy. Eh? We can change energy from one form to be another form. So the total energy in the system must be the same. And then for this case, because we want the uh, minimum speed, so we have to make uh, the final final speed is a, is is uh, minimum. Uh, remember, so we have to equal this at least. Uh, we 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 make it equal, and then we can get what is the minimum velocity here. Okay, so first you do a very easy mathematic, and then you transfer this GM. And this this one is the um, potential gravitational potential energy. So actually you have half mv square equal g m m over r. Okay, so the the mass of the objects we can eliminate. So the other m and the big m refer to the mass of the earth. Huh? If you want to calculate escape velocity for the earth. So it depends on what kind of planet is it. Huh? What, what is the planet is it? So then you have uh, v square equals to 2gm over r. Uh, that's why here you have this formula. And then if you want to get the velocity, you just square root of it. Uh, remember uh, how to get this formula? Actually, you equal uh, the uh, minimum kinetic energy and the potential energy and uh, gravitational potential energy. So this is the minimum escape velocity yeah, that we can calculate. If you ask if the, the speed is more than this escape velocity, what will happen? Of course, the uh, satellite or the rocket will shoot up to escape from the Earth. But if lower than this speed, eh, that means if lower than what we calculate, then it will fall back to the Earth, no matter how uh, how far or how high it is travel. Eh. So at least minimum we have to achieve this velocity. So if we calculate for Earth, so we're going to substitute the mass and the G constant and the radius uh, as shown in the example below. So you can substitute and then you will find that what is the minimum escape velocity for the Earth is 11.2 km. It's not per hour, it's per second. How fast is it? 11.2 uh, km in a second. Uh, from maybe from Singapore, let's let imagine from Singapore to the border of Belize, okay, maybe let's say around one, uh, one, 1,000 km, let's say lah, okay, so how long it takes? Uh? It takes 10 seconds, uh, maybe, maybe uh, 100 seconds from the border to border to, uh, to pass through Malaysia, uh, this, this kind of speed, okay, so remember this value also. 11.2 km per second. Okay. So next, uh, uh, the next part is the uh, benefit and implication of escape velocity. So here are the example. Uh, why uh, if the escape velocity of the Earth is quite high, uh, 11.2 km per second. So and cause all the molecule actually all the molecule travel very fast uh, that uh, we didn't notice uh, actually. We also travel very fast because if, uh, let's say, you stand here, okay, and then you have to travel one whole round, one day, eh, because 24 hours, so you come back here. Let's guess what is the speed you travel on the surface of the Earth. Okay, you can calculate actually by the circumference of the Earth, and you try to calculate the circumference of the Earth, and then you divide it by 24 hours, and then divide divided by how many seconds a day okay and you notice that actually we travel very fast but we didn't notice because we move together with the earth okay and then uh, 
uh, here are the, the other example uh, no matter how fast is airplane fly the higher speed is 2200 meter per second which is very very fast but um, compared with the escape velocity is very low uh. okay so actually if you like this part uh, you can you can search what is so called black hole why is it black uh? some scientists say that uh, black hole didn't it look black because it absorbed all the light as actually some uh, scientists say that also uh, in the statement that the speed of light not able to escape the the, the black hole means that black hole actually with a very big mass uh, so it needs very very high speed to escape even the speed of light also not able to escape so you can search on that if you if you like uh, astronomy and so on eh? so we already finished in this part uh, escape velocity say so that there are two very important things is first you have to know what is so-called escape velocity please remember the definitions and number two um, the way to prove uh, to use the formula to calculate uh, the escape velocity so the very important part is this eh? Okay, I guess half mv square you already learned in uh, lower form. Uh, the most important part is this the gravitational potential energy negative gmm over r. Okay, and then you can prove several time and then it will make you uh, clear when you answer the questions. Eh? So after this, uh, you're going to try out the activities. Um, 3.13 I want you to try calculate this and what is escape velocity for Venus, Mars and Jupiter okay and then we are going to discuss the formative practice and we finish this topic okay so thank you class that's it for today